This is something that I just thought about and I'm like, you know what, this might be a fun one to do because Kingdom Hearts games have interesting titles. They've obviously been memed to hell from the entire gaming community of how stupid they sometimes are. I think they're fine, but like, you know, you know, so they are interesting in some way. So I thought it would be fun to do a top five. Originally, I was going to do like a top everything, like rank every single game, but that was getting too hard. So I'm just going to be doing my top five list of Kingdom Hearts game names. Obviously, it's going to be subjective, but kind of the rough criteria that I have for ranking these titles is going to be the meaning of the title. So if the game has a meaning that kind of connects to the game well, that's going to have extra points in my book. Another thing is just the subjective coolness of the title. If it rolls off the tongue, if I like how it sounds, that's obviously going to be a piece of criteria. Another one is kind of like how simple or complicated it is. If a title is too complicated, I do think that's not a good thing. For example, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, I think is not a good title. And so that's not going to be on my list. I'll just say that right now. So yeah, I think it does matter that a title would not be too complicated and also not too simple. And the final criteria, which is actually pretty interesting that I thought of recently is what image does it form in my mind? Because I realized that when I was ranking these titles, different titles were forming different images in my mind. And I think that's a pretty important aspect of the titles because these titles are pretty descriptive. At least some of them are. And so what, what image it brings into my head is also going to be a criteria of me ranking these titles. So let's get straight into it with number five. And my number five title is Kingdom Hearts Coded or Recoded. Now, this one is probably going to be my simplest one, but I like how simple it is. I like how it rolls off the tongue, Kingdom Hearts coded, recoded, and simply, I just think it connects to the game pretty well. Like, Kingdom Hearts recoded is pretty much all about you playing in a digital landscape as Sora in a digital world, and using the name coded, I think, works good. And I always like names that aren't directly the name. For example, like a name that I think would be a bit too on the nose is something like Kingdom Hearts Digital or Kingdom Hearts a virus or something where like it's pretty much has to do with the main plot of the game but kingdom hearts coded i think just works very well it has to do with the theme of the game and again it rolls off the tongue and when i think about kingdom hearts coded in my head the image i get is lines of code and you'll see that a lot in the game like kind of the effects that you see in recorded are those kind of like lines of code that happen once in a while and so i think that it works very well it rolls off the tongue and I sub subjectively just think it's a very good title for the game. Number four, also a title I think is pretty simple but works pretty well for the game is Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories or Rechain of Memories. I think this is probably like one of the more legendary titles in my mind when I think of Kingdom Hearts is like you don't really see other games with these type of titles which I think it fits very well with the game Chain of Memories. You immediately get a specific image in your mind like you kind of see like links of chains of memories and obviously with the plot of the game uh, with Sora's memories and trying to kind of fix that it works with the game as well so chain of memories is very good i do think also that this is probably the longest title i would allow if it was like chain of disappearing memories or something like that i think that's a bit too much i think chain of memories is like the farthest i would let it go but i think it just fits very well and the fact that it gives me such a specific image in my head and not only does it give an image in my head, I think the image I get in my head is probably the same that most people would get. I think is a pretty hard thing to do with the title and the fact that they kind of pulled that off and it works with the game is uh, pretty nice. So that's why it comes at number four on my list. Number three on my list, which may be surprising, is Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Now, obviously, this is a game title that's memed by everyone for being too weird or too hard. I think the meaning of the game name is beautiful. The game, you know, taking 358 days, being split by two people. I think just the meaning alone is why this game title is so high on my list. And also the memes of it being too complicated. Like, I'm gonna be honest, if this title is too complicated for you, you, you may be stupid. Like, it's not, it's not a hard title. Like, if the game was called 358 days, that's fine. Like, that's simple. Once you add a fraction, people lose their mind. So, like, I think this isn't really that complex. And I think it's, it's, a, it's a simple title, honestly. It's a very simple title. And the fact that the meaning is just... It's such a great meaning. I just love the meaning. And like, you really don't get it until you're like at the end of the game, which I really love. Just the meaning alone is something that would put it pretty high on my list. And the fact that it kind of, in my opinion, it, it like it doesn't roll off the tongue the best, but I don't think it's bad. Like, I don't think it's bad as people say. And so because of that and the meaning, it comes at number three on my list. For number two on my list, uh, this may be funny, but it's Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. It's funny because the game is not out yet, so I can't really talk about the meaning too much. But at least based on what we know about the game and the trailer mentioning that they're trying to kind of fill in a blank area and telling us more, I think that alone kind of tells us why this game title is so good. 
missing link obviously referring to the missing link in a system or a, a chain link that's the, that's the image i get in my mind i'm not sure what other people get but like when i think of missing link i think of like a chain link and one of them is missing and i think that's what this game's purpose is because we kind of have the story of kingdom hearts unchained key and the history of keyblade wielders and we kind of have the story of kingdom hearts birth of sleep and the modern era of kingdom hearts but we have this kind of like fuzzy area in between where we don't know too much specifically what happened and the fact that we've been kind of filling this in with Kingdom Hearts Dark Road and now we're getting Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. I think the name like literally is bang on for what it is. Honestly, they could have even named it like Kingdom Hearts Blank Era. I think it would have been equally as good. The Missing Link, the fact that it makes sense with what the game, not only does it make sense with what the game story is probably going to be, but the fact that it makes meta sense with what the game is supposed to do in the timeline of Kingdom Hearts. And I think it just brings a great image of my mind where like, yeah, I see a chain link of Kingdom Hearts games and the Missing Link literally is Kingdom Hearts Missing Link in between. I think all of that just matches very well, and that's why it's so high on my list at number two, even though the game isn't even out yet. And also, on top of that, I think it just rolls off the tongue very well. I like saying Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. It makes sense. It's not too long. Sometimes when titles are announced, people are kind of, you know, abrasive towards it. I don't think that's happened with Missing Link at all to me. So I think that's why, and the meaning and kind of the meta meaning of the name is why it comes at number two. Now, the number one Kingdom Hearts game title, in my opinion, and I'll be honest, the reason that's up here is for a lot of reasons, but one of the main reasons is just how cool it sounds to me is Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. I think that is just such a balder title. I really love the title. And like all the titles I mentioned, it makes sense. It's literally the dark road that Xehanort walks. We see his story of how he goes from, you know, kind of like a good keyblade wielder and him taking the dark road. Like story-wise, it makes complete sense. In terms of an image, you literally, we all see the same image of a dark road and like, it's, it's it's just a perfect name, in my opinion. It's a perfect name and not only is it a perfect name, but if if a name makes sense, that's one thing, but for it to sound dope is another thing. So, and because of that is number one, whereas some of the other titles like Chain of Memories is good. I don't think it's perfect because it is a bit too long for me. Dark road, very short eight characters and everything else that i mentioned just makes it perfect for what the game is and the image in my mind is just very clear and i and i like it kind of like this eerie vibe and the fact that it's a game about the main villain of the series is even cooler so that's why kingdom hearts dark road comes number one